Peggy 16. Hi, my name is Brent Nicholas, executive producer on Amazing Spider-Man The Video Game. I'm here today to introduce you to some of our stealth and combat mechanics and how the web rush feature totally changes that experience. When we were thinking about how to use web rush in our game, we actually approached it from the view of how do we want to give choices to the player. I can either go directly in and engage the guys in hand-to-hand -hand combat, or I can sneak anywhere I want in the room and stick to the shadows and actually begin taking them down one by one from the fringes. So you'll see here, I've actually got a room that I've entered where I can look down at the enemies below, and before they know I'm here, I have the ability to choose how I want to approach this. I'm analyzing it, I'm looking at guards who are patrolling, there's a sniper on the side. Um, I should probably get rid of him first, because he's probably one of the ones who's most dangerous to me uh, once, I, once they actually detect my presence. By holding down the web brush, when I'm looking at the room, I've got some enemies that I can select who are red, which means I can go down and attack them directly. I've got objects in the room that I can select, which are basically web brush props, where I can take them and use them against my opponents. Or my personal favorite is the purple enemies, which means I've got the option of doing a stealth attack against him. So you'll see here, I'm going to select this individual. I'm going to actually perform a stealth engagement on him and take him down before the other enemies notice. Now I'm going to go back and I think I'm just going to go down and take out some of the guys down below. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this web brush prop. I'm going to launch it at the bad guys. I'm going to go down and get the guys who are left on the floor. Now I'm going to kick some butt. There you go. So now that I've cleared that room, I'm going to jump ahead into another part of the game and kind of survey the environment, figure out what's going on and how I want to take them on. So as I'm like trying to figure out, do I want to attack this group, that group, I've got different props in the environment that I could choose to grab and throw at them, I can actually web rush and I'm going to go right in the middle of these guys. The further I get into the combat, I actually start building up combo meters. As I begin getting enough hits on my enemies without getting interrupted, I get the ability to trigger what are called signature moves. I can blow out numbers of them against the walls and actually stick them there. I can take guys and run them to the ground, whatever the situation may be. All sorts of cool ways to finish my enemies as I build up my combo meter higher and higher. You'll see as I'm fighting here, I actually I start getting into trouble. One of the great things about web rush, it actually gives me the option to web rush retreat, where I'll retreat back up to one of the corners of the room into the shadows, and the enemies lose track of me in the combat. They'll start trying to track me down with their flashlights, trying to find me, see if they can locate me. If the enemies do manage to find me, I can actually use web rush retreat again and again to try to keep relocating around the room to stay one step ahead of my enemies while my health regenerates. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to check this out. Uh, we're super excited about our game and can't wait to hear your feedback once you get your hands on it as well. Remember, the game comes out in the US on June 26th and available globally June 29th. You can actually pre-order and get some exclusive content like Play as Stan Lee or even the chance to rampage around the city as Rhino. Make sure you check it out.